So after 20 some years, my boy Ash finally freaking got his very first victory at the Pokemon League. Now, I've been watching Pokemon ever since it came out, and I gotta tell you and be completely honest with you guys, I haven't really kept up with the Pokemon anime in a very long time. There was a period in time where I actually went back to the anime right around the fifth generation for black and white because the big news was that Charizard was coming back and we all know how much I love me some Charizard especially being a fire representative myself and I gotta say even for that I did watch you know the episode that he came back and I did try to follow it a little bit after that but I couldn't stick with it and it wasn't even just because of the fact that I was getting older or anything like that but the show for for me just wasn't the same especially if we look fast forwarding to what they've been putting on now with the sun and moon anime and they completely changed the animation style and really showed us that they are actually trying to target these kids of that now rather than the kids that were kids but they're now pretty much around my age or a little bit older or younger not saying that's a bad thing i'm not trying to even knock on the animation style at all this video isn't actually meant for that but this video is more catered towards Towards the thought or the idea or the question what happens now see pokemon has changed its narrative ever since the first few seasons i mean at, at, at one point in time we used to always think that the goal was to gotta catch them all right we, gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all. we were under the impression well if you're trying to be a pokemon master catching them all would fulfill that goal wouldn't it but at the same time Ash's other goal and all the other trainers that were gathering their badges and challenging anyone that you know came in their way was always about being the best there ever was and to win the Pokemon League. Ever since 1990 freaking 9 when that anime started over here in the US he has lost every single time and as a kid it's like watching that back and i'm just like damn this is really this this really sucks and then he just goes on to the next one the next one and there was a meme out there that said that not really a meme but like a post that kind of highlighted like all his progress and all of his um his standings within all of those championship matches and ash has come out top 16 and he's shown slight progression over time with the most recent time he got like top two he was right there at the very very end and a lot of people are even arguing going as far as saying that that's when he should have won with ash greninja because i gotta say i did actually see that episode or those episodes and boy them johns were actually od ash greninja and the whole dynamic with ash i thought that was actually a really cool little thing that they added to the show even though that has really nothing to do with the games but it was something that the anime had unique to itself not really sure if that was in the manga either but it was definitely entertaining to say the least but the reason why i might sound very not as energetic as i normally would be is because a little part of me is kind of worried and it's not even that i'm worried for the fate of the pokemon anime because let's just face it guys pokemon is way too big to just end shop and call it quits literally pikachu is like one of the many mascots that japan has pokemon centers are literally a staple thing in japan and especially when they come and they make their appearances via any kind of Pokemon or Nintendo type of tour in the, in the US. Pokemon shops are literally one of the things that people gravitate towards and they spend all the money and money they don't even have on product and merchandise that they offer. Pokemon is not going anywhere. As far as the anime is concerned, the bigger question is what happens now? Now we already got confirmation that the next anime season ha is definitely happening and it will be taking some type of place in the Galar region, which is the upcoming region for those that are under a rock. Sword and Shield is actually the next few games as well, in case you didn't know that either. But we also know that apparently it's not just going to be in Galar. It's just called Pocket Monsters. And obviously that's the shortened version of what Pokemon means. Pokemon, Pocket Monsters. I don't need to explain this. And it's already being t being shared around that, yeah, like they're going to be in multiple regions. And in, in fact, all of the regions, the previous regions, like up, 
to Galar. So that's eight regions and eight generations worth of Pokemon adventures and whatnot. But they have no inclination as to who is going to be the next protagonist to lead us on these new adventures going forward. A part of me is like, well, why wouldn't it be Ash? Ash has literally been around since the start. And I don't understand why they would ever change that, especially since they've just been repackaging him every season, every generation. They update his clothes. Pikachu's still around. He still makes the same mistakes. And yet he's still teaching all these newer generations of kids coming into the show all the same things that they taught us you know about being friends and always having trust and believing in your friends and all the takeaways that we've you know grown up to you know love and honestly there was a point in time where i actually really did not like ash at all as, as a matter of fact when i as soon as i was put on to red the character from the manga who ash is based off of i was like damn this dude is way cooler how come we couldn't ash couldn't be like this and the thing is you can't necessarily just expect everything to just be a carbon copy of certain things. I mean, honestly, obviously with an anime, you want to take advantage of being able to have several different types of themes and episodes and different lessons that, you know, kids or anyone that's watching can take away from. And honestly, Red is pretty much written a, in a completely different way that Ash is not. Not to say that one's better than the other. We'll leave that for another episode. But Ash is someone that I can find some kind of appreciation out of all these years later and having my up and down feelings about him overall. But at the end of the day, I gotta show appreciation and love for my boy Ash because literally I've been following him ever since I was like five years old. And literally 20 years later, this man finally freaking wins. And now I have to ask, is this where they finally retire Ash? And honestly, I, I, I have no idea. It, there's no indication as to what is actually going to come next. We have no type of images or any kind of teases outside of the confirmation of there being another season, um, but we don't really know. And the thing that I also wanted to address that, well, with my question is what happens next. If they were to stick with Ash, would he still remain being 10 years old? Because I know that's one of the biggest complaints and things that a lot of the fans say nowadays and you know they i mean not even nowadays but just like overall in general and to be honest that's a very real gripe to have imagine growing up with a character and this dude did not age once i mean they technically did because they kind of slipped up in that third movie special where what was it pikachu's vacation or someone's birthday i kind of forget what it was it's been years since i've seen it and they literally say it's been a full year and ash was like 11 years old like they straight up said it. Don't you know what today is, Pikachu? This is the day we first met. It was like a plot hole in itself, blah, blah, blah. But then, you know, they, they overwrote their own plot hole by going back to saying that the boy was still 10. That includes the Kanto region's pallet town. Home to this young man. 10-year-old Ash Ketchum. Oh my god! And even now, if you look at all of the news outlets that have been reporting this big win, like it's actually something real, like legit they literally are saying 10 year old ash finally wins pokemon league <laughs> like that's od like that's crazy i want to know like is that something that they would just continue to do if ash does stay or if they introduce someone completely new and they actually involve some kind of aging to the character i think that's something that after 20 years i really feel like the next generation of pokemon fans shouldn't have to experience because it sucked and it feels really weird watching and supporting a series where the guy literally doesn't age one freaking bit. I mean, you got a show like Naruto, another show that I kind of grew up with. I got into Naruto right when Naruto was brand new over here in the United States. And when he was 12, I was 12. And then all through the vanilla Naruto series and I was reading the manga and then I discovered what the Shippuden series was before it was even deemed Shippuden, before the anime came out. And then I learned that there was a three year time skip, two and a half to be exact. And he comes back as a 15 year old. Guess how old I was 
at this point in time, 15. I was growing up with Naruto. I mean, now Naruto's way older than me because he's got two kids and he's the Hokage of his freaking village. He achieved his goals and all that kind of stuff. And it's a nice little closure for a fan like me that's been following something, investing a lot of time and effort and, you know, my emotions into a really good series such as that. And I feel satisfied knowing that I grew up with Naruto, but I can't say the same for Ash because he's literally been 10 his whole life. Like imagine if you tried to put every single event that took place within a 365 day period, and that is Ash. All of the generations of Pokemon, all of the regions he's gone through, all the battles, the gym battles, the Pokemon he's caught, all of that happened in one calendar year because let's face it, they still say this dude is 10. So I want to know if they decide to move on to another character or if they decide to even keep Ash, are they finally just going to give him a new age? Are they going to let him age? Are they going to introduce newer characters to maybe go along with Ash if Ash does stick around? Or is he just going to be a champion and that's it? And he just remains a champion and he kind of appears for special episodes. And maybe at that point, they'll have some kind of a time skip. Because I was actually having a conversation with Brother Uch about this. And he even said it himself. He was like, if Ash was to actually ride off into the sunset, he finally achieved his goal of becoming a Pokemon champion. He's a champion and he remains a champion and does nothing else after that. I mean, they kind of don't really give us that kind of thought or idea of like, or even like revealing like, well, what actually happens to champion you see them every now and then they're they have that title of being a pokemon champion and but they're still going on about doing their business with pokemon and whatnot and they're still involving themselves in any kind of devious things that might happen with whoever the team of the region is and like you got dudes like lance that he's you know made his appearances a lot of times throughout even like the, you know gen 2 stuff and the last time we see red in you know the pokemon stories was when you fight him as gold as the final 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 boss in those games and that was probably the most badass stuff ever is that what ash might end up being now will he actually fulfill a role similar to reds where whoever this next protagonist is actually goes along and freaking eventually has to go and challenge ash and you mean to tell me now that i'm thinking about this out loud that after 20 years this dude finally wins one and we're just gonna see him lose to whoever the next kid is I'm not okay with that. But honestly, at the end of the day, I'm actually really curious as to what happens because this is probably one of the most interesting things that we've been presented with that we honestly never really saw coming because it's been one of those things that we just always felt like Ash was just always meant to lose. He was just always there to always teach us the lesson of you can't win them all, but you were supposed to catch them all, so you can't win them all, I guess. You see, it's crazy. But before this video goes on any longer, I do have to say, Ash, congratulations. You finally freaking did it. And I'm not gonna lie, I really hope that if and when the next season's episodes come out, we find out exactly what happens with Ash. I hope if they do move on to somebody else, they don't just kind of shoo him off like nothing happened. It would have been nice to have some kind of send off or some kind of inclination of what's gonna happen next. But right now, we have no idea. All I can say is that I hope whatever happens next actually will continue to be good and a lot of the kids nowadays will enjoy it. And I hope that they even take into consideration the more mature audience that is still staying loyal and true to something that, you know, we all loved and still love and grew up with because let me tell you something, for a lot of us, Pokemon is still life and i'm telling you right now there's plenty of other things that i definitely want to talk about especially in regards to sword and shield there's a mode that i feel like would be really cool for them to introduce if they aren't planning on it already or maybe it is in sword and shield who knows but with that all being said guys let me know what you guys thought about ash's victory what you think might happen next what are your thoughts on it are you afraid are you not afraid or do you not just care and you're just a red enthusiast and just want to see red take take over and whatever the hell you might have to say like share subscribe hit me up on twitter all that good stuff make sure you're freaking taking care of yourselves have a good one guys may the power protect you keep it locked and loaded and classy i will see y'all next time